Hello again, my beautiful friends. I'm back. <laughs> this is video three of five for me today. So trying to get these assignments done. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, um, I've been writing devotionals for about 10 years now. And this is one of those that I felt was appropriate for this group and it's entitled treasure in clay pots the scripture reference is second corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 and it says but we have this treasure in earthly vessels that the excellency of the power may be of god and not of us and you know i've, I've pondered that um phrase but we have this treasure in earthen vessels um, because, you know, what flows through us comes to us from our source, the universe, our creator. And so therefore we can't take credit for it. OK, um, we are we are channels of the things that he has given us. So. Here are my thoughts on that. Um, you know, it's a really, it's a real privilege to know that, that we carry the treasure of God in our earthen vessels, our bodies. So if we know this, then how should we conduct ourselves in this life? How should we care for our bodies? Most of us put our precious treasures under lock and key, hidden from sight until we want to pull them out and look at them. But God chose instead to put his treasure in delicate and fragile earthly clay pots, not locked away or hidden, but on display for all to see and access any time, any place we happen to find ourselves. If we are led by the Spirit on a daily basis, we are in the will of God and we are sent to the people with whom he wants to share. He wants us to share his treasures. What are the treasures of God? Well, for one thing, his everlasting love for humanity, his tender mercies, his unending grace, his word displayed in the life of Jesus and preserved in written form through the ages for the benefit of all mankind. Little nuggets of spiritual gold and sparkling jewels of truth are found in his word that we can share with others in a multitude of creative ways through word, deed, art, and music, to name just a few. What does your treasure pot, what, what treasure does your clay pot contain? And how can you share those treasures with others today? Here's a little prayer that we can say that goes along with this. Father, thank you that you chose to place your most valuable treasures in our hearts and minds so that wherever we go, we can spread them as seeds of hope, faith, and comfort to those who are lost in the darkness of this fallen world. Give us creative ideas as to how each of us can best share the treasures you have entrusted us with according to the gifts and talents that you have given us. May we leave behind a trail of breadcrumbs, the bread of life, wherever we go that leads others to Jesus and to eternal life with you. We thank you for the treasures that lay in each of us, and we ask that you help us pull them out and share them with the world on a daily basis. Help us to reach and reach out and bring as many others as we can into your kingdom while there is still time to do so. And we ask these things in the name of Jesus. Selah which if you're not familiar with that term, it just means think about these things. I'm going to put a link under this video that goes to a YouTube video that has the same message as this devotional and it's called treasure in clay jars. I hope that you'll go out there and 
and watch the video and and it's got beautiful nature scenes and beautiful music um, and a powerful message that um, that I, I hope will bless you today this is just one of hundreds of, of devotionals that um, I'm currently putting together into an ebook form that's going to go out to the world um, absolutely free so that anyone can uh, can have access to it anyway that's video number three check I'm done I'll be back with with my other videos after this or soon later today <laughs> All right, y'all. Love you. Bye-bye.